Good morning, everybody. Let's go check out and see what's going on. Do you like that sunrise this morning? That was absolutely beautiful. Looks like I got a load of stuff here. So let's go see what I just bought. What do we got here? This table's kind of interesting. I yeah, probably just junked with this rack. It caught my eye. Got nice big wheels on it. That might be something. But this cab, look at that. The five window diamond T. Not in too bad a shape. That's a pretty cool piece there that he had in the load. He's got a whole bunch of neat stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the gate. If I can find my key, it's in my pocket somewhere. I got too much stuff in my pants. Money and keys. Oh, it's in the other pocket right there. <laughs> Duh. He had to get to work, so we didn't film the unloading process, but I'll go ahead, take you around, show you everything I got. This is probably the coolest piece right here, is this old diamond tea cab. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. That's what the guy said it was, and that looks right to me. It's missing the uh, firewall, obviously, and the doors are gone. They couldn't find all that, but it was stored inside, and it is rock solid. There is no rust in this thing anywhere. Plus, it's the five window version. I don't know if they were all five windows or not. Maybe they were, but it's still pretty cool. I like the looks of it. I figured somebody's gonna want that just because it's so solid. Plus it came with the rack that's underneath it. So that's a good little cart to roll stuff around on. Speaking of carts, he had these on his trailer and he was gonna haul them into the scrapyard. And I said, no, nah, let's, let's go ahead and hang on to those. I might have a use for those. So we rolled them over here off to the side. I need to find some place to put those. I thought these would be really handy. Maybe if like this one here, if I cut off the pieces where it was more flat, I could set car bodies on them or truck cabs or stuff like that and roll them around. I don't know. Honestly, I'll probably wind up keeping maybe the green one and I'll just sell this blue one. We'll see. I don't know. I'll think about it more later. And I got this cart here. I thought about putting my welder on it, but I've already got a nice actual welding cart. So I may wind up selling that one too. There was this table here. I don't know. We just threw it off for scrap. I might see if anybody's interested in it, but I really doubt they will be. It's pretty junky and it's pretty heavy. There were a whole bunch of shelving and the legs for them are over there. So it's actually two complete shelves, double-sided shelves. They're kind of junky, but I figured for outside storage, they would work. I can set them up back behind the building, stack stuff that won't get hurt in the rain on them. Then he had all this stuff here as well, a bunch of watering cans and these uh, funeral, funeral home uh, flower decorator things. I'm not entirely sure what they're called. I thought they were pretty neat though, so I went ahead and bought them. Then he had a couple gas cans and then he had a whole bunch of gears. Gears don't sell as good as they used to, but I do still sell them for art. Then he had a handful of small stuff. He had all these trophies. A couple of them are pretty neat. This one here with the little steering wheel and there's one back here. It's got a car up on top of it. I figured I can resell those. People take these and they put new plaques on the bottom of them and reuse them. That way you can give out vintage trophies. They're not that old. They're out of the early 90s, late 80s, but they're still pretty neat. Let's see here. Let me get my flashlight out. It's kind of dark in here. Okay, got a whole box of lights. There's a real cool stoplight in there. You can see right there. There's just a whole bunch of neat stuff in that box. I stuck it down there out of the way. He had all these magnetos. There's a bunch of good ones in there off a of caterpillar, stuff like that. Nothing crazy high dollar, but I mean, there's a, there's a few decent ones. Then over here, he had a whole box clear full of gauges. Probably the coolest one is this one right here. It's a uh, Kenworth, uh, what's it called? A pyrometer. Yeah, Kenworth pyrometer. I thought that was pretty neat. Then down here, just a few other odds and end pieces that he had stashed in there. And then where is it at? There was one other really cool piece. Oh, right here it is. This old red glass lantern of some sort. What is it? A, a Warsaw, uh, Warsaw, New York. It's an Embry. Embry number 40. And then last but not least, this also came from the same place that all that other stuff came from. Had to have somebody else haul this one though because it was so big and heavy. This is a, uh, what is this? Alice Chalmers, there it is. Alice Chalmers, I checked the engine. The engine does still turn. It's an HD7, whatever that means. The engine's been covered up, still turns. I bet it would run with a little bit of work. I scrapped out some big dozers like this a while back, about a year and a half ago. So I guess this will give everybody a chance to put their money where their mouth is, because they all told me I was absolutely crazy for crushing those things. So right here's their opportunity to save them. If I had time, I would do a will it run on this thing and see if I could drive over a car or something crazy like that. But we'll see if we get time. Hopefully somebody will come through with some money and just go ahead and buy it. But that's enough chit chat. I've got a couple more old cars over here. I'll show those to you later, so stay tuned for that. 
Right now what I need to do is I got all this rock right here. I've got to take that in there and I'm going to finally fill in some of those mud holes. They've been here forever. I got to do that. I got to start loading the dumpster over here with some aluminum wheels. Bunches of work going on. So let's hop in the loader. Let's get busy. There we go. Looking much better over here. This isn't perfect. It needs to be packed down a little bit and it'll still be a little bit of a low spot. I have a little bit more left up there though that I can put in, but it's definitely looking better back here. This is gonna be way better. This area always held water since I bought this property, but it was always really sandy ground. And so it was never a big deal. You just drove through the water. So I had the brilliant idea of filling it in with dirt, but the dirt that I used was kind of, had a lot of clay in it. And so it just turned to solid slime every time it got wet. It would pack brick hard when it was dry, but like I say, as soon as it got wet, man, it was a nightmare to drive through and it was easy to get stuck and everything else. So now with this rock in here, hopefully that won't be an issue. Even if it does hold water in some of these spots, should still be able to get through it. Last night I had a couple really late arrivals. It actually wasn't their fault that it was so late, it was my fault because I had an unexpected thing pop up that I needed to go film real quick before it was too late. It was a it was a film it now or never get to film it ever type of deal. So I had to run out of town and do that real quick. I got back, got them unloaded, got home, and then this morning I got a phone call and the time has finally come. You may have heard me mention in a previous video that the crusher was getting ready to go away. They are here to get the crusher. They are taking it away. All good things must come to an end at some point. So I'm headed that way. I'll see you there. You know, it's really sad about the crusher leaving. But it's not that sad because, check this out right here. That birthday was about a week ago, but I got a new present right there.
there's the new one in all her glory that's a shiny machine I can't even use this it's too shiny this is gonna be absolutely awesome having this one here the main reason why we did this is we wanted to upgrade and get the taller opening that and the crusher that just left is just having lots of little issues lots of little things wrong with it so rather than spend a whole bunch of money getting it up in tip-top shape we just went ahead and got a new one that way we get the bigger opening and everything works again the only thing that's kind of a bummer is is i just sent them a crusher with a full tank of fuel and they sent me a crusher with almost no fuel i guess i should have drained the fuel out of the other tank i almost did but i thought well no they're i, I don't want to do that to them because they're probably going to fill it you know when you buy something new they fill it full but uh they did not do that so i guess that's on me and i also forgot to pull the little deal for my air so i can't air my tires up on the loader those aren't huge issues it's probably going to take about uh, 250 dollars worth of diesel to fill it full and then that piece over there is what seven bucks or something like that so not the end of the world but i am definitely looking forward to having this we did not put the name on it this time uh you know the other crusher i used out here the last time had the business name on it with a phone number and none of that was my info and so people were calling and bothering my dad so <laughs> this one here we didn't do that this is a good looking machine i'm trying to figure out what this deal back here is some sort of safety deal i don't know what it's for though it locks something i'm trying to oh i see okay when the lid is all the way up this probably goes on that right there i bet there's another one on the other side okay so it's a safety that way the lid can rest on that that way it doesn't drop i've had people comment before that when i hop inside this thing to grease it they're always like what would you do if that cylinder gave out and uh well, i probably wouldn't do anything <laughs> wouldn't have time to do anything probably wouldn't feel a thing either but that's cool that it has yeah there's one on this side here too so you can put those in there that way it's a little bit safer another thing i liked about this one is these legs on this one are straight up and down the other one were kind of at an angle and sometimes it would kind of be be a pain to deal with whereas this one's up and down of course i couldn't find anything to put underneath the legs so it's already sinking in the ground i'll have to put some logs or something underneath it that way it can set on that rather than just on the feet it's a totally different control box on this one here completely different than the last one i'm not sure that i like the the see-through i mean i guess it's cool because you can see through it and see all the stuff in there but at the same time it feels like it's gonna fade all this a little bit but we'll fire it up so you guys can hear it run gotta let it sit for a second it's really choppy when it first starts The reason why it's so choppy like that is because something to do with the emissions and the way it starts up. It runs like that for just a minute and then it clears up and it runs normal. He said that's the way they're made from the factory, so nothing to worry about. Unfortunately, because this is a 2024 model, it does have a def system on it. I think in 2019 or 2020, somewhere around there, they started making all diesel engines have def on them. So that's kind of unfortunate, but it does have a warranty on it. Uh, an extended warranty on just the death system itself so if there's any issues it'll be covered there haven't really been any reported major issues with these though so i think it'll be fine the only issue there might be is if there was something faulty from the factory a defective whatever sensor or whatever and that's why it has a warranty on it so that stuff can be replaced but yeah definitely looking forward to using this i'm not going to use it a whole lot today i'll probably crush a couple cars here in just a second to make sure everything works fine I went through all the cycles when we first got it, made sure everything works. In fact, I might just wait till tomorrow. That way I can spend a whole day crushing with it. I have a few other things that I can do today. It's got all this funky stuff up on top of the engine. <laughs> I'm not used to all that. But yeah, this is going to be a good machine for us. I'm really looking forward to using it. You'll have to stay tuned. The next video, I will be using this thing. Got a whole bunch of cars out here to crush. Over here, that's why I rocked all this area is because I'm going to be driving back and forth through here a bunch as I get these cars out. And I didn't want to deal with it if it rains, turn into mud again. And then also driving back and forth through here, we'll get this all packed down good and tight. But I've got that whole pile of cars back there. I think there's roughly 50 cars in that pile that are completely ready to go, already drain the fluids and everything. In addition to that, I want to crush about another 50 cars out here. So we'll have to go through and make some, well, I was going to say we're going to have to make some difficult decisions, but it really won't be that difficult. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to go ahead and crush a whole bunch of a little bit older ones, nothing super old, but a few of the older ones but like i say that's going to all be in another video what i'm going to do right now is i've got a dumpster out front for aluminum wheels uh, i've got a few other things i needed to do so uh, i'm just going to go ahead and fire up the equipment
making progress getting rid of this great big pile of stuff that was here it's kind of a disaster now it's all a little tiny small stuff if I use the excavator I dig big old chunks of the dirt out if the skid steer it all falls through the grapple so what I'll probably do is just go ahead and stop this dumpster is pretty well full anyway what I'll do is on my small dumpster they're supposed to empty it here in about a week or so so once it's empty I'll take it and set it right here and have somebody come back here with a rake this area here the reason why I'm cleaning it out is my buddy Sean has a bunch of cars he needs stored and uh, so I think I'll just kind of clean this area he can get quite a few of them right in here I'll probably take this elm tree here on the corner out as well and that way we can get I don't know probably what one two three four five six seven eight nine probably ten cars right here in this area if I trim that tree up a little bit at least seven or eight but probably closer to ten cars will fit right here in this spot eventually I've got this big pile of what's left of a camper trailer back here behind these trucks that pile there I'll once I get rid of that as well and I come back in here there's a bunch more tin and iron back behind that I clean this area up and we can probably get another oh, 15 cars or so right there originally I was gonna let him put his cars in this whole area back here but uh, the guy that rents the sandblasting building from me he's probably gonna be here for a little bit longer yet so but we'll make do and whenever uh, he does move out of the sandblasting we can use that corner for something else but I think this area right through here were good for Sean's cars but anyway speaking of Sean he's on the way now to pick up that 64 dump truck so I'm gonna get the loader back out and dig it out for him Frames like that won't fit in the crusher, they're too long. So I just double stack them like that and then I can put them up on top of bundles in the semi trailers when I load them. So that's about the same weight as a bundle there. It's a little bit lighter, but it'll be good enough. There we go, got that loaded up. I was about to head home and I remembered that I promised a young guy his truck's broken down and he needs to haul to some place for them to work on it. I promised I would do that. I told him I'd be there probably around four o'clock. Right now it's almost six o'clock. <laughs> so I am a little bit late. I'm loading up the chains now. I gotta find my receiver, grab my trailer, go meet him. That's what happens when you have too much on too small of a brain and you forget stuff like crazy. You guys know I'm always forgetting stuff, but it's just because I do the job of four or five people usually every single day. So it's bound to happen. I just try to remember as much as I can, such as right now, there it is, okay. I couldn't find my receiver, but I, I got to thinking about it and I remember putting it over here on the shelf. When I ran to Nebraska, this was still in my truck and I thought, you know what? That's gonna disappear if I leave that. So I just took it out real quick and threw it on the ground. I am definitely looking forward to getting that going tomorrow. After today, things should slow down a little bit for a little while at least. Just today was kinda, kinda crazy with having to work on that other crusher. It threw me behind about two hours on everything I did. I tell you what, you don't realize how handy that backup camera is until you don't have it anymore. I still don't have a tailgate on my truck as of filming this and backing up to a trailer with the sun glaring in your mirrors, it's kind of hard to see exactly where it's at. This is so, so easy when you have that camera, it just tells you right where to go. It's got the line and the little indicator and all that, but uh, I think I got it. Whoops, yep, bump, there it is. There we go, just right. I always like to make it to where this is just barely clear as above the ball. That way if I back up too far, it hits this and it doesn't tear my bumper up any worse than it's already tore up. I need to grease that ball again. I like to keep it greased up. That way this pops on there a little easier, but it'll be okay. Yeah, I was pretty well lined up, pretty good. There we go, got everything hooked up. I am on the road. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Like I say, I'm still, I'm still a little bit sad about the crusher leaving. I've been having a lot of memories going through my head. I've been running that crusher since I was a teenager. But I am excited to have this new crusher here. Supposedly it's got a, a four cylinder in it that's way more fuel efficient than the old ones. So be able to 
operate a little bit cheaper plus it's got the higher lid on it and it's just it's just gonna be a better crusher i think i guess we'll find out tomorrow i'm gonna put it to the test as much as possible i don't know how many cars i'll get crushed tomorrow but i want to crush as, as many as i can if you guys did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up as always i hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day and remember to get out there find yourself an adventure we'll see you on the next one